When I first heard of the 20 Time Project, I was like, oh! Wowee! So, I went with music because it was always a subject I was interested in and I thought learning it could be quite fun. So, what I had in mind is I was just gonna make like a, an album of songs. It wouldn't be like a big album, it would be quite small, just like five, six, seven maybe songs, and they'd be like of different genres that I'd try to do, but it turns out I couldn't do them because the music program I was using only like allowed me to make kind of electronic music, as you can kind of hear in the background. So when I was searching for my music program, I found out that uh, they're actually really expensive. So I just decided that I would use free trials instead, and I found one called uh, Sonar. So when I downloaded its free trial, it turned out that it didn't work with my computer at all, and no tutorial really helped me, and it was a bit, just a bit complex. So I got rid of that, and I went to search for another program. The program that I ended up finding and using was called FL Studio 12, a kind of a popular beginner-friendly software, but even though it was beginner friendly, I still had to look up a tutorial as I had no clue what I was doing with music. So after some tutorializing, I experimented with the program and I found my first obstacle. It was the fact that I couldn't save. Because it was a demo version, it just didn't allow that and buying the full thing would require that I spend a bit of money, which I didn't want to do, so I just found my way around that, which was that I'd use a recording software to record the music and save it to my computer. But my computer actually ended up being an obstacle too, because it's an old computer and it would just spontaneously crash quite a bit. So the way around this is that I'd have to frequently save and Yet again, saving turned out to be a problem, because the song wouldn't actually save in the software, so what I'd have to do is I'd have to, if I want to continue a song, I'd have to recreate it and finish it beginning to end. At first I was thinking, oh, this would be fine, I'd just sit down and complete a song real quick, and there'd be no problems. However, this did not turn out to be the case. For you see, staying motivated was actually quite a problem in this project, because finishing a song beginning to end is actually not as easy as I thought it would be because in between the crashes and the not being able to save, the music itself is just a bit like too finicky for me, a bit like too complex because what you'd have to do is you'd have to like sit there, make sounds, and then like layer them to make like a beat that actually sounds alright. And this is where I found like the project to be not fitting for me because the finickiness was just like a bit too much. Like, it would never sound right, and this just, this led to like some demotivation, and I just wouldn't want to do the project, but the way I overcame this is that I set a schedule, and the schedule stated that I just make a song, one song, just a week, and the song wouldn't be like a, a full length song, it would just be like a 30 second to 60 second ish loop, and I ended up following through with the schedule and I feel like I didn't like fully accomplish what I set for myself and what I learned from this is just how important like time management is and also like setting a reasonable goal is quite important too because like you don't want to bite off more than you can chew and yeah that's basically it that was my 20 time thank you for watching